In this video, I will show you how to record and insert audio narration using Articulate Storyline 3. So let's first look at the storyboard which we're on right now and just see which slides actually need audio. So I'm just going to scroll down here. So this is the title screen. We will need some entrance music here or something like that, but it's also optional. So if you don't want to insert it, that's fine. But I will show you a little later how to do that. And then learning objectives, we don't need anything. What you will need. Nope. So I think we pretty much need things for the steps here. So step one, you can see here that we have audio narration that we need to insert for that. And then step two, the same thing. Step three, we also need audio. Step four and step five. And then nothing for the knowledge checks here. And the simulation, nothing. And then the last slide, the summary slide, we could have exit music if you'd like. So let's go back up here to step one, right here. And I'm going to show you how to do this. So I will do a demonstration for this slide of how to record audio with Articulate Storyline and then how it's inserted into the timeline. So first what you should do is either have this storyboard up on another device like um, a tablet or a smartphone or you could just write it out on a piece of paper if you want so that you have it right in front of you so that when you're recording it that you won't have to memorize it or something like that. You can just basically read it off the screen or say it in your own words if you'd like. You should also have a good mic that's hooked up to your computer. So I have invested in the Blue Yeti microphone. It is a very good microphone to use for recording audio for all the screencasts and voiceovers that I do. But there are other ones that you can look at as well if you want to check out my blog at ecoursealley.com. And I may also link to some in the resources for this course. So let's now go back to the storyline course. So we had just finished creating the summary slide in the last video, but we want to navigate now to step one because we're going to record audio for that one now. So go over here in the story view to step one, position yourself. And the way to record audio is to go up to insert and then go right here to audio, record or import an audio clip or music into the slide. And if you have a microphone hooked up to your computer, then you can just go down to record mic. And then you can hit this record button and then you can play it back and see if you like it. And if you do, then you can save it and it'll save right to your timeline. So I'm going to now demonstrate how this is done. So I have the text for step one from the storyboard written out in front of me and I'm just going to read it and then I'll play it back, see if I like it and then I'll save it. Now, if I do mess up slightly during this and I'll show you one that where I will, you can also edit it. There's an edit button right here that I'll show you. So you can do little things. You can't do a lot, but you can take out some parts that you didn't like and things like that. So I'm going to record now and there is a couple second delay. So just be aware of that. For step one, stand comfortably with feet shoulder width apart. Make sure you are wearing comfortable clothing that you can move in because you will have to bend down a lot at first to pick up balls that you drop as you practice. Start with one ball with your arms at a 90 degree angle. Now I'm going to play that back. For step one, stand comfortably with feet shoulder width apart. Make sure you are wearing comfortable clothing that you can move in because you will have to bend down a lot at first to pick up balls that you drop as you practice. Start with one ball with your arms at a 90 degree angle. Okay, so I like that one. So I'm going to save it. 
and you can see it just inserted it right here, right in the timeline, starting from zero seconds. Now let's do one just where I'm going to mess up a little bit. I'm going to just show you that you can edit it. So go to insert audio. And I'm going to just do the first part and I'll make a mistake in there. For step one, stand comfortably with feet shoulder width apart. Make sure you are wearing comfortable clothing um, that you can move in because... Okay, so I made a mistake in there and I'll just show you how you can go here to edit audio. And you can play it here. For step one, stand comfortably with feet shoulder width apart. Make sure you are wearing comfortable clothing um, that... So let's say we wanted to take out this um here. You can just highlight it and you can delete. So let's just play that part. Thing ...that you can move in because... Okay, so the rest of it wasn't as good either, but I just wanted to show you how you can do that. So if you do mess up a little bit, you can take that part out and then you can save and close. But there are other programs, of course, like Camtasia that are much better for editing. So I'm not going to save that. I'm going to just cancel that. Okay, so we've now inserted that audio piece here, the audio narration. So now I'm going to go and record the other audio clips. So those are the ones for step two, three, four, and five. And then we'll come back here and I'm going to then show you how to sync your audio files with the text boxes here that are going to come in. Okay, so I'll just go do that and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've now finished recording the audio narration for steps two, three, four, and five. So once I recorded it, as you saw with this one, once you save it, it puts it automatically into the timeline. So I'm going to show you now how to adjust the cue points that go along with each of these text boxes. So recall that these text boxes we want to have come in with the audio. So this is why we waited to this point to adjust the timing. But we already created cue points which makes it much easier to do because now all we have to do is drag these cue points around on the timeline to adjust when the text boxes will appear. So I'm going to show you a little way that I use to do this. So you can use this preview button down here where you can hit play. And then as it plays, you can move these and then you continue playing as you go along. So the first one should be feet shoulder width apart. And then we should hear the sentence about wear comfortable clothing. And then starting with one ball and then arms at 90 degree angle. So this actually disappears when you preview it but we will just keep doing it slowly and step by step. So I'm going to hit play and then I'm going to adjust this first cue point, which is number two here, because we had number one set up for the arc motion path of the ball that then comes in. So we're starting with two and then we have to look at three, four and five. For step one, stand Okay, so I moved that because it just said for step one and then we want to have the text box come in. There is a bit of trial and error involved, so I'll just move them and then we'll preview it and then we can see if it fits and then we can tweak it after that. So I'm going to continue playing. Comfortably with feet shoulder width apart. Make sure you are wearing comfortable. So make sure you're wearing, that's the next one. And you can hit spacebar on your keyboard to start the playback right from where it is. Comfortable clothing that you can move in because you will have to bend down a lot at first to pick up balls that you drop as you practice. Start with so we have start with one ball here. Actually, I'm just going to go back here for a second. First to pick up balls that you drop as you practice. Start with one ball with your arms at a 90 degree. Okay, so I'm going to put them there. 
And this number one should be with start with one ball. It's around the same timing. So I'm going to put them on top of each other because that's when we want the ball to come in. So I'm going to go preview this and just see what it looks like. For step one, stand comfortably with feet shoulder width apart. Make sure you are wearing comfortable clothing that you can move in because you will have to bend down a lot at first to pick up balls that you drop as you practice. Start with one ball with your arms at a 90 degree angle. Okay, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, it doesn't need to be exactly when we say it, but just know around the right sentences. So now I'll go and I'll show you how to do that for steps two, three, four, and five. So let's go to step two and we'll do the same thing. For step two, start by throwing the ball. Throwing the ball from one hand to the other. The ball should arc Okay, so I just um, moved that prematurely, but we'll just keep going here. Arc at about eye level. Keep your arm. Okay, so that's number two, arms at a right 90 degree angle or right angle. Arms at a right angle with your Okay, and I'm just going to move that over because I think those pauses there are those ones, but we're just going to listen to it. Elbows in. Practice this until you feel your th So we'll have this start here. Your throws are fairly consistent. To help with consistency, try throw. Throw with your eyes closed. That's around here. Okay, so like I said, this takes some trial and error, so if you don't get it on the first try, that's okay. Just keep listening to it and going back. So I'm going to just preview that to see what it sounds like. For step two, start by throwing the ball from one hand to the other. The ball should arc at about eye level. Keep your arms at a right angle with your elbows in. Practice this until you feel your throws are fairly consistent. To help with consistency, Try throwing the ball with your eyes closed. Okay, I'm just going to tweak the first one. I think it's a little late. So I'm just going to preview that one more time, just the beginning. For step two, start by throwing the ball from one hand to the other. Okay, that's better. All right, so I think that one's good. I'm just going to save that. And let's go to step three. And we'll do the same thing. So what we're looking for is use two balls, one in each hand. That's the first one. Throw from one hand to the other. Balls should cross in the air and practice catching each ball. So use two balls is what we're first listening for. For step three, use and now we're looking for a throw from one hand to the other. Use two balls, one in each hand. Start by throwing throwing from one hand to the other. Throwing one ball as in the previous step, but this time before it comes to land in your other hand, throw the second ball under Balls should cross in the air is what we're listening for. So I'm just going to move that down. Beneath it. The balls should cross in the air. Okay, so that's right here. And then practice catching each ball. Let's listen for that. And throw the second ball underneath it. The balls should cross in the air and each one should be caught with the opposite hand. Practice. So number four or key point four is down here. Okay, so let's go preview that and see how close I am. For step three, use two balls, one in each hand. Start by throwing one ball as in the previous step, 
but this time before it comes to land in your other hand, throw the second ball underneath it. The balls should cross in the air and each one should be caught with the opposite hand. Practice catching each ball. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. Save. Okay, so now let's go to step four and do the same thing. So we're going to be looking for these text cues here. Two balls in your dominant hand, one ball in the other. Throw first two balls, like in step three. Add a third ball before the second ball lands and practice catching all three balls. So we'll do it one step at a time. So first let's listen for two balls in your dominant hand. For step four, now we're ready to try the real thing. Start with two balls. Okay, so that's the first one, two balls in your dominant hand. Balls in your dominant hand and one, one ball in the other hand. And now we're listening for a throw first two balls ball in the other hand. Throw the that's right here. And now we're listening for add third ball. First two balls as in the previous step. And that one's probably add third ball, so I did that prematurely. But this time, before the second ball lands, throw the third ball. Okay, so that will be down here. And then practice. Practice catch. So the fifth cue point will be down here. Catching all three balls. Okay, so let's preview that now. For step four, now we're ready to try the real thing. Start with two balls in your dominant hand and one ball in the other hand. Throw the first two balls as in the previous step. But this time, before the second ball lands, throw the third ball. Practice catching all three balls. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And now let's do the last step. Step five. And let's listen for make it continuous. Don't stop after the third catch. Throw the next ball in the sequence and practice, practice, practice. So make it continuous is what we're listening for. In step five, try to make it continuous. So right around where it was. Continuous. Instead of stopping after the third catch, start. So don't stop after the third catch. So around here. Now let's listen for throw the next ball. Start over by throwing the next ball. And the fourth one is practice. Next ball in the sequence. This is normally the hardest part, but it just takes practice. Once you get... Okay, let me just play that here again. This is normally the hardest part, but it just takes practice. Once you get a feel for it once, it will get easier. So practice, practice, practice. Okay, we'll put that down here for the fourth cue point. And now let's preview. In step five, try to make it continuous. Instead of stopping after the third catch, start over by throwing the next ball in the sequence. This is normally the hardest part, but it just takes practice. Once you get a feel for it once, it will get easier. So practice, practice, practice. Congrats, you just learned how to juggle. All right, so I think we're done with that. So in the next video, we will look at how to insert music files or other audio files into the Storyline course. And I will add an audio clip for the title screen and the summary screen.